So it's soundwaters.com? Dot org. Dot org. Soundwaters.org. And here we are on Long Island Sound in Stamford, Connecticut. There's no cars today, just ceramic tiles and a bit of history. This is a Chinese tree that was planted in the 30s. It was 12 feet high when it was planted, and now it's maybe 112 feet high. It's a Don Redwood tree from China in Connecticut on the location of a couple of beautiful old mansions that were affiliated with the Stamford Manufacturing Company that make dyes and all kinds of products that employed a lot of people in Stamford, Connecticut. And now it's just a tourist attraction. Factory facilities all burned down in 1919, and that was it. Competition, World War One, then World War Two. Now we just have some natural beauty and an old house built in the early 1800s. Take a look inside. Walk up the cut redwood stairs, natural stone. Got some little doggies and mugs. Soundwaters.org, and we've got the biggest ceramic tile wall you'll ever see. Soundwaters history tile wall. Artist Marion Grabau, coordinator B.B. Miller, historian John Kane. Sales, Erica Rogers, dedicated September 21st, 2001. And it's huge, it takes up the whole wall. Got grist mills and paddle ships and old buildings of every shape and size. Schleicher Piano Factory, Pacific Street. You name it, they built it in Stanford. The Yale and Town Manufacturing Company. Yale Lock Manufacturing Company by Linus Yale. And Henry Town making locks. It developed into Stanford's foremost industry in the 1890s. One out of 16 residents were employed. Cool ceramic tile wall. Cove Island on Long Island Sound in Connecticut, a wealthy suburb of New York City. Like these old houses. We'll see you. Vacation's almost over. Ho ho ho.